In this lecture presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to continue our practice of maximums and minimums with a question submitted by one of our students. An all-news radio station has made a survey of listening habits of local residents between the hours of 5 p.m. and midnight. The survey indicates that the percentage of the local adult population that is tuned in to the station x hours after 5 p.m. is equal to f of x equals 1 8 times negative 2 x to the third plus 27 x squared minus 108 x plus 240. At what time between 5 p.m. are the most people listening? This is asking us for a maximum. And what percentage of the population? So it's actually asking the point or the y value. And at what time between 5 p.m. and midnight are the fewest people listening? This is a minimum. And what percentage? This is going to be the y value again. So this is going to be a first derivative problem. We need to find the critical points, find the intervals of increasing and decreasing, and then find whether we have minimums or maximums. So let's start off by finding the first derivative. Keep the 1 8 out in front, and we're going to get negative 6x squared plus 54x minus 108. And we'll set that equal to 0 to get our critical points. And then we need to solve for x equals 0. Well, the 1 8 we can divide through, and then also 54 and 108 are also factors of 6, so we'll divide through by negative 6 as well to get x squared minus 9x plus 18 equals 0. And this corresponds with x minus 3 and x minus 6. So we have critical points occurring at x equals positive 3 and positive 6. So let's set up a table. Negative infinity to 3, 3 to 6, and 6 to positive infinity. Let's pick some test values, say 0, 4, and 10, and then let's plug them in to see what we get out of it. Now actually, uh, because we're just putting the test values in, we only really need to know what's going on here. And if it's positive in this, it's going to be positive when you multiply it by a positive 1 8. If it's negative in that, then it's also going to be negative. So this equation is simpler. Let's plug everything into there. For the case of 0, it's going to be very easy because it's just going to give us positive 18, which of course is times an eighth. But just the same, it's equal to positive. Actually, sorry, I made a mistake there. You can't just do that because we divide it through a negative sign. All right. So everything's going to have to go back into the original. We could simplify it further, but I don't want to keep making mistakes. Either way, I'll put a 0 in for our x's, and we're left with negative 108 divided by 8, so that's a negative number. Now let's do the same thing for positive 4. This is going to give us 1 8 times negative 6 times 16 plus 2 16 minus 108 and that's going to equal 1 8 negative 96 plus 2 16 minus 108 96 minus 108 that's equal to negative 2 14 so we have 2 16 minus 2 04, sorry, this is 204. So that's going to be a positive number. We don't need to know exactly what it is. Now let's do the same thing for positive 10, and we're going to get negative 600 plus 540 minus 108, all of course multiplied by 1 over 8. That's clearly a negative number. So we're decreasing until we get to x equals 3. We increase after 3 and then we decrease again afterwards. So we have a minimum at x equals 3 and we have a maximum at x equals 6. Now to find the percentage of viewers listening at these we are going to put those values into our original equation. So we'll find f of 3 and we'll find f of 6. Now I calculated these out beforehand at f equals 3 we're going to get 13.125 and at f of 6 we get 
These are our percentages. This is hours after midnight, so th or hours after 5 p.m. So three hours after 5 p.m. is 8 p.m., where we have a minimum with only 13.125% of local adults listening. And then six hours after 5 p.m., we have a maximum with 16.5% of local adults listening. So there we have it. And you use some calculus to figure out the prospects of this local radio station. So more proof that calculus actually does have some practical applications.